Hey y'all, and welcome to CC's Texas Garden. Guys, I'm gonna do a little harvesting this morning. To the garden, I have my tomatoes right here. They're doing pretty good. My corn in here. Hopefully to produce some corn. I do see some silks in there as well. But we want to get over here because I seen, look at this, it's already coming across from off of there. Um, these blackberries. Now this is my wild blackberry bush. I got this from my grandma's house. Um, and so look at these beautiful berries this morning y'all look at that look at that I got my little bowl look at that <laughs> blackberry season now me and my girls used to go to a place in spring and do um, blackberry uh, picking I don't know if we're gonna do that this year. That would be fun, my grandbaby going to do that. Look at that one, y'all. Oh, look at that beautiful blackberry. Mmm. Some nice little snacks. Now, I do have a thornless blackberry bush as well. And uh, it does have some big ones over there as well. So, I'm going to go pick them. Look at that. Tiny morsels of deliciousness. <laughs> and I've been keeping it covered because I don't want the birds to enjoy any of this. I don't want them to have no fun with it. I do see there's a few blueberries. Now, my blueberries are starting to get small. I'm thinking maybe this heat. I don't know. They're tiny now. They're not as big as they were. Let me pull this back. So, I mean, they're still edible. But they're just little, little bitty ones now. But the other blueberry bush... See, they got a couple little green ones there. I probably need to give it some more um, acid. So I need to put some more coffee grounds in there for it. But on this other, I'll show you in a minute. All right. We're going to go over to this other bush. But look at this is a dragon fruit. We got some little tiny babies coming up on this, on the little side part. Yep, it's looking good. I'm gonna walk over here to this other bush. This is my uh, Brightwell blueberry bush. And you got some berries coming up. Reach down here and get these. Now these black uh, blueberries took longer to come in um, than the other one I had, but they're here. And a nice branch and everything. I only paid fourteen ninety nine for these at the Tractor Supply. I mean, that was a good deal. Oh, let me see. That is not going to be happening up on my, look, my leaf. I don't like that on my leaf. I don't know if it's sun, sun scorched or leaf miners or whatever, but I'm not going to leave them. I'm not going to leave those leaves. Pull a leaf off without knocking all the berries off of there. 
But yes, I do have my bird netting on here to keep them from getting any. I do see um, some tomatoes I can harvest as well. Yes, I do. It's this tiny Tim, y'all. I am telling you, this plant has been prolific. Look at all these new little tomatoes. I mean, it. if you have a small space and you want to have it in the container, this is only in the little three-gallon bucket. And this thing has been producing and producing. So Tiny Tim Tomatoes, y'all. Look it up. You don't have much space. Mm -hmm. Here is a strawberry just waiting to be picked this morning. I will pick you, strawberry. Come on. And your friend. Pick you and your friend. <laughs> I got a little dirt on this one. Look at that. Now, like I said, it is some blackberries over. Let's take our little bowl. Look, before we go over there, y'all look at my toothache plant showing out. I do not know how to harvest it. I do still need to look up how to harvest this toothache plant. There's the other one starting to grow. Yeah. And we're gonna go around here and I want to show y'all this as well this is showing out too this is my ground cherry I don't know what kind of ground cherry because the little label didn't fade it off of there but let me lift this leaf up y'all look at all that those are all ground cherries yep even down up in there I mean this tree this little plant is loaded this plant is only maybe not even a foot tall and look how many ground cherries on there oh yes all right this is my lemongrass coming up right here but we're gonna go over here this is my thornless blackberry bush i got it from lowe's a couple years ago i think this is the second year yeah um let's see how we're gonna get into this thing we're gonna put our hand in there but look at look at that y'all look how big that berry is mm -hmm. and i want it oh. oh look at that it do have a little bit of red right there that's all right because that thing is enormous look how big they're getting mm -hmm. oh and you know what has arrived and i knew it was gonna be on here i need to get my soapy water but them doggone leaf of the bugs this is where i was having to spray them because they were all there and i see the all the, you see them little orange things yeah they they are a pain but all you gotta do get some soapy water look some there's the other one we'll put my camera in there if I can or I can show y'all these stupid leaf footed nymph bugs if it don't run off they like to hide oh. see it hid up under the leaf I don't know if he's under there he's somewhere yeah you see him hiding up under the leaf like I can't see y'all I see y'all Look at him. These are them leaf footed bugs right there. These are their babies. So I, all you got to do is get some soapy water and just tap that leaf and drop them in there. They die quickly. But yeah, this is what they look like. But up there, there's a big old huge blackberry. I'm going to grab. <laughs> Now what these leaf footed bugs do, they have them little suckers. So they they stick their little sucker into 
Look at that. What is that clump? What is that little baby thing up on my... Um, they stick their sucker into your plants and to your fruit and they suck it. Like they suck the juice out of it. So we don't want that happening. Okay, let's let's get in here and get our berry. And I don't know what kind of what that is. But they're hanging. It's coming down. that was but anyway here <laughs> y'all look at this oh we these berries are going to be delicious I'm gonna keep them inside this netting that is a beautiful black berry yeah this is the thornless blackberry bush so um, you know how it comes, Domino. Uh, uh You know how it comes in that little white package or that little box, and they're small. Uh, this is where that came from. Next year I'm gonna have to put this. Eventually I'm gonna have to put it. Next year I'm gonna put it in a bigger pot, so it can get more um, shoots to come up. But yeah, this is my Celeste. Celeste has three figs on there. Let's see if they're still there. Um, here's one, there's two, and here's the third one right there. So Celeste is doing okay. I didn't get any fruit last year, so I'm glad to at least have those. And this is in a five gallon bucket. I changed from what it was in. This is a ground cherry I have in here. And these are pigeon pea. Pigeon pea. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but, and then the onions. I have a little bee sitting there on it. These are my ginger right here in this container. These are my peanuts, which I need to put definitely in a bigger container, y'all. I need to. I see roots. Uh-oh. <laughs> I see roots at the bottom. That that means it needs to be in a bigger container. This is my my borage. I think this is my borage. It's looking bad over here. Yeah. My cucumbers are growing. We go back here. We have cucumbers here. Let me put this inside, make it come inside. Come on back inside. Come on, I don't know where you're trying to go to. Let me stick you in this way. There you go. Got cucumber here, here, and there. It's starting to reach up now on its own. And here is where I have my green beans, a couple of green beans came up. Well, at least two of them came up with my marigolds. My okra are starting to get bigger, y'all. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be my whole okra patch. I have like one, two, three, at least 20 plants in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of okra. I have some sunflowers on the outside here. That's just to draw in pollinators. Look at all the mini grasshoppers. They're everywhere. My hibiscus this morning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This here is my red Chinese red noodle beans. Look at them all trying to escape out of them. Oh, there's. There's one of the pods there, the flowers. And then it's gonna make little beans. And look, y'all, I got beans already. <laughs> I, wow, okay. I already got a Shawnee's noodle bean. <clears throat> I did not know. I seen the flower the other day, 
but I didn't realize noodle bean had already popped up. Look, there they go. It's usually um, in a pair of two. Get off of there, bug. But there's my noodle bean. I need to pull that one. Push that back up in there. Let's see. Come on up here. I don't know why you down there. Oh, it's some other ones. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even see you. <clears throat> How are you hooked on here? Come on, come on, come on. Yay. Now one of them has produced, but the other one hasn't came out. This is what the, they're made beautiful purple flowers. And then they do this little pod. There's another one. Oh yeah. Now you can see how the pod has opened up. And there's a little bean that comes out. So I got some Chinese red noodles already. These things are delicious. You just saute them with a little butter um, in the pan. Oh my goodness. They are delicious. So yeah, I'm going to have to train these back up here. If I can be able to see them. And I want them on the ground for the bugs to get them. But yeah, those are my Chinese red noodles. These are running up there. I have them in this little trellis for they can go upward. And my tomatoes, y'all. Look at that. I, I went through and I staked them yesterday. Yeah. Because I didn't realize that... um. Some of a lot of these are indeterminate, I believe, because they're getting really tall. But they have flowers coming up. I staked them up. I even have some tomatoes already on here, y'all. Tomatoes. So I lifted them up. Some of these are not staked yet, they're smaller. I do not know any of the varieties because these are the ones that nothing had came up. So then I just threw the soil in there. Then tomatoes start coming up. So I have no idea what type of the tomatoes any of these are. A lot of them were from the cold, so they was more specialty tomatoes. But we'll see what we get. We will see what we get. I'm excited. Now that it's getting close to summer, your gardens will start getting full. And man, that's wonderful. My flower bed is looking wonderful as well. Look at this. If you don't know what a leaf footed bug is, here is an example of a leaf footed. Let's see if I can get him to stay still. You see on the back of his legs, it look like leaves, shape of a leaf. That's why it's called leaf footed bug. These are the ones of the babies. Look, he just realized that I was looking at him. He's gonna fly in a second. Um, the babies that we seen over there on my blackberries. This is the mama or the daddy of them. But you see the leaf shape on their foot. That's how you know it's a leaf for the bug. Get off of that. <laughs> these are my Shasta daisies that he's sitting there comfortably on. Isn't these beautiful? Shasta daisy. This is what the leaves look like. I didn't know what this plant was because for the longest time it just had this greenery down here. I'm like, what is that? But yeah, Shasta daisies. And we have some other different types of flowers in here. Of course, my zinnias. We got some cosmos. Look at those. And of course, we have our marigolds. Marigolds. And then I bought these four plants they're different colors uh, i forgot the name of them but they're like the little puff flowers i mean you know they're so cute they feel like velvety and they got an orange one a yellow this burgundy and then we have this red one they feel so soft now we also have our grapes y'all our grapes are looking delicious <laughs> i wish they would all turn red all at the same time 
but I feel like if I don't pick off the ones that's red red the time the other ones turn red then they're gonna be not good you know like they'll be too ripe go ahead and take one of these off of here and snack them mm. oh my goodness y'all I forever want to have grapes oh mm-hmm mm. I do <laughs> I do I am definitely going to I mean it took now it takes some time y'all this has took three years before I finally get in some fruit three years so if you buy um, the little package of the grape from the big box stores just know it's gonna take some years but I should have got more than just one great because I'm like oh I just grabbed one I should have grabbed more so I could have been eating grapes all over the place but I think this year I'm gonna try to go with some mustard mustard on must you know what I'm saying mustard done <laughs> uh, grapes this year muscadine that's what it is muscadine uh, grapes so I'm just gonna get the ones that's ripe off of there a little right if it got a little green i'm gonna leave it mm -hmm. i got grapes y'all look at those mm -hmm. I'm starting to get some little spider webs on here but i mean the spiders might keep away any bugs that's trying to suck on them right look at that corn card grapes corn corn cord grapes So, as for my watermelon, a little update on it. Um, they're slow growing, but they're getting there. I do have flower. This is a white wonder from Teagsy. Go Teagsy. Your watermelons is doing good over here in Texas, girl. Uh, yeah, my first watermelon flower. So, I'm glad about that. I have corn. They're starting to get their little tassels in this area this corn this giant thing just popped up and uh so yeah <laughs> he's tall have my sweet potatoes here they are looking wonderful all right guys so here is our little harvest this morning. Oh yeah, of our sweet berries and little snacks that I would, I'm probably gonna go rinse and eat them off. Eat them all. Well, not the tomatoes. Not gonna eat them things. <laughs> I'll put them in the house. My mama can give them to somebody. All right. But anyway, guys, thank you for coming along with me at CC's Texas Garden. I hope you learned some stuff. Hope that, you know, got a little something out of this video uh make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel guys we're working to get to our 3k we're almost there we're almost there uh so yeah hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on the next video